Hello everyone. Greetings from the small town with a few massive bunkers. I am currently here, quietly digging away, and I have just picked out another bunker that is a bit bigger than the previous ones I found. It measures approximately five by five, which is the size of this bunker, y'all. I'm amazed by the scale of these structures and the work that went into building them. Well, I don't see any cracks, I guess. Yeah, it's pretty rare for things to turn out like that. In most cases, busted and squashed. Let's have a look and see what we can find, shall we? In my opinion. I walked up to the stove, carefully scrounging around for any scraps of food that might have fallen on the floor in my search for something to eat. His nature is defined by his inclination to cut leather, nails, and iron. This is a reflection of who he is and how he operates in the world, which is a solid piece of metal. Put it on the stove, on top of the coals, heat it up, and then use it to iron your clothes, smoothing out the wrinkles. And there is an additional one positioned immediately adjacent to him, it appears, yes. Whoa, I feel the same way. In fact, I feel even less, dude. The disparity between these two irons is so significant. The principle remains the same, but they are available in a variety of different sizes. Five centimeters less in length, please come over to this location. Another discovery found behind the iron bars. Quite rare and highly interesting to explore. Hot. It is on the floor, yeah? And he is walking in the tree, you see a handle. Do you understand what I'm saying? Right now. All right, I didn't break any shovels for you. Impressive, even more fascinating that the indigenous sprout has been conserved. Give it a shot. Locate one similar to this. Macaroni. That is a hatchet of German origin. There is an aluminum stake protruding out on the floor next to the wooden post. The hatchet has a sharp blade and a wooden handle. The stake is long and slender with a pointed tip. It appears to be firmly embedded in the floor near the post. Not very deep. 
Gotta clean up. He doesn't seem to be eaten up or anything. So there you have it. All kinds of miscellaneous items and clutter are going on and taking place. However, the majority of the influence was from the Soviet Union. It appears that there is medicine present in this particular place, I would surmise. The bottle in question is of a small size. Here's the scoop. Impressive. In this particular scenario, we encountered a specific type of can that was constructed using aluminum as the primary material. Perhaps it was disconnected or severed from an unknown source. I am uncertain about the cause. Plumyaha is a word that expresses my lack of knowledge or understanding in this situation. Well, yes, they were cutting something. It appears to be a rough cut. Furthermore, there has been an accumulation of double-sided Mosin cartridges that have piled up over time and are now in abundance. I am unable to comprehend a certain aspect of ink inscriptions specifically related to a type of ink. It seems to be different from our German cap and instead resembles some form of German horseshoe label. I find this particular topic confusing and would appreciate further clarification. The ink inscriptions and their significance are not clear to me and I am eager to gain a better understanding of this matter. Any additional information or insights would be greatly appreciated. The bayonet is also Mosin's. He pulled it out from underneath the floor where it had been hidden. Yes, all necessary information is provided in the captions of the content. While I was excavating one bottle in this location, it appears that another one emerged on the bottle I intended to access. There is still a greater quantity of bottles in that direction. This particular bottle is small in size. It possesses a cork as its closure mechanism, and it features a diminutive tube that is firmly inserted into it, serving a specific purpose to transport it as if it were a flask conveniently stored in your pocket. So we continue to have this here. There is a further amount of something. The shelves are filled with cartridges for the autumn season. It is fascinating to see such a small and captivating jar among the items on display. The material of the object is glass, but I don't see any inscriptions or markings on it. Therefore, in my opinion, I believe that the thread is resembling a pitcher in shape. It is a tiny jar that can hold a small quantity. Its design is reminiscent of a pitcher, but on a smaller scale. I continue walking on the floor, tidying it up. I come across an unforeseen discovery, thinking it is a shell casing. The fighter's pencil case contains a locket that I see, which was shot from a cartridge and wiped clean. Right here, between the legs. Let's try to open it now. It's an intriguing item that we should attempt to open. I believe it should work, given its mysterious nature. Let's not waste any time and see what's inside this fascinating locket. Our curiosity is piqued, and we can't wait to uncover its secrets. Opening it will surely reveal something extraordinary. Get lost. The air escaped from the room. Nah, it's empty. No blank form. It's going to be an exhibit.
I believed he was similar to the tough individuals who had previously inhabited this town. The complete and incredibly vast area is an utter and complete mess, don't you think? Same level, dude. Here I am, dug myself in, as you can see. First part in the lindages where entrance and stove are located. This is far part. So here is the deal. The floor ends, and then come the dirt mounds. That is the location of their upper level. Then it is like this fallen, settled kind of soil. There goes a half-rotten log rolling down the hill. And then it's already the top layer of soil. Well, there it's ice. So, I don't know, I might still watch it. Maybe there's some kind of piece, like an earthy base. I will keep checking. I am here. I am digging one-fifth of a bunker at the moment, essentially. About 1.5 by 2 meters somewhere, and he's 5 by 5. All right, these are the floors. The upper layer of the floors is being removed, right? This stove, made from a barrel with a capacity of 200 liters, is positioned on the joists of the floor above. Here they are, guys. That is it. Below them is another floor, and already here are the bars. There is no additional information to provide at this time. Three layers of flooring, and here comes all sorts of junk between them. All right, I've got another find here. All right, it's pretty dark over here in the corner. Observe, do not observe. It is not excellent in this location yet. The tip of the bayonet, the blade of the bayonet. Unfortunately, yes, that's the bayonet blade. Unfortunately, he... Not on the floor, not under the floorboards, but right up, coming up from under the floor with a blade. And the pen goes there, right to these, to the floor. Now we are concluding our actions towards him from this location. Here's the main part where I started digging. I cleaned up here. All right, let's go back. Tidied up this area. I have a heap here. The water is dripping. Now there's some fabric sticking out from this location. This is a boot made of felt. One additional. Oh, please. Please help me find a suitable spot that is directly underneath this tree, as I would like to be positioned in close proximity to it. You have to dig about a meter somewhere over there. Half a meter, approximately a meter. What else could we have there? I have something else on my mind that I would like to share with you. Soviet screwdriver discovered inside the pencil case belonging to the owner. Well, they were just sitting here, yeah. Here the moles have already started digging. And they were positioned on the bench, dropping various things right there. Stuff was falling on the floor even beneath the floor surface, extending all the way down. Ah, at long last I have emerged from slumber and regained consciousness. The deep sleep that held me captive has released its grip, and I find myself awakened to the world once more. Oh my goodness. A small prod, a bayonet from Germany. The prod was slight. The bayonet was of German origin. It was a little poke and a German-made weapon. Bakelite handles. Blade. The bayonet will be placed on the shelf. The discovery is still enjoyable.